So, um, I know I'm a little late, but there's been a lot of uh, hoopla over the, I'm trying to get this open, um, there's been a lot of hoopla over the uh, Sierra and Russell Wilson engagement, and yet again, it, it sparked another uh, gender war. Um, and yet again, they're vilifying black men. It, it, it's we're always into we're always lumped into the category of we're bitter, jealous. Um, you know, we're just the 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 bitter lame. And it, it's not really the case. It's just that black men have standards. And that's the thing that a lot of these pro-woman, pro-black woman websites like For Harriet, Madame Noir, The Root, Huffington Post don't seem to understand. They, they, do, they cannot grasp that black men have options. They always want to... Um, guilt black men especially black boys because they, they get them young and guilt them with the whole um black women are kicking so much ass and um they're strong independent and you know they're, they're all they are strong and independent yeah and like um they but they come with like tyler perry type baggage like oh Kids out of wedlock. Oh, kids by a thug. Um, you know, you know the the mistakes, the the riddle mistakes, and all that bullshit. And they they love telling you, oh, that's just black womanhood. That's the tough life that we have to live. And we, we you know, because of society and this, that, and the third, we 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 are um, pregnant. We we. You know, we we give birth to kids out of wedlock, and you know we get we 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 get into relationships that aren't work that don't work and are toxic. It's black woman. They 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 try guilt tripping you into that, and you know, black men can reject black women. You know, with kids, and we have every right to do it. They love doing the whole. Well, y'all niggas getting all these women pregnant, and now y'all mad because y'all have to date women that y'all left behind. It's like, please, only it's been proven time and time again that only that eighty percent of women have black women have kids by the twenty percent of black men. Black men aren't walking around with kids as much as you want to believe from watching shows like Maury. Uh, Steve Wilkos or the Jeremy Kyle show, whomever. We're, we're, we're not doing, you know, we're, we're not the deadbeat father that that you love going on to these white males bra telling them that, oh, we're deadbeats and uh, we used you and we abused you and we never cared about your feelings or the kids. You, you can't run with that lie anymore, especially... You know, when I when I when I see this type of shit, you know, we we can reject women with kids, and you know, I not I will never date a woman with kids because, like, at my age, twenty three, I'm kind of like, you know, especially seeing a woman with two kids, it's like, you know, you have to learn how to just keep your goddamn legs closed because, you know, dudes don't want a a, a ready made family, you know. Because the the issue is that the father is going to be in his life, in the kid's lives eventually. There's going to be issues. There's going to be a comeback. And, and niggas don't want to deal with that shit, you know. You know, niggas want, you know, a decent, stable family. And the bullshit that a lot of women love entertaining when it comes to drama, when it comes to reckless sex, it, it's not going to cut it. You know, these feminist websites love talking about the, the carefree, sexual, black woman who has sex and, you know, she's not a slut for doing it. But the thing is, is that, you know, dudes just don't want to be dealing with this shit. Dudes don't want to be dealing with women with 
high body counts. And then y'all want to point fingers like, oh, y'all niggas are slut shaming. Nah, I just want to be safe. I, 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 I just want to be safe because, you know, especially when you're in places like Georgia where the STD rates is, is in AIDS and HIV is high. You, you think I want to risk it? You think you think I want to risk that? No. Nah. You know, shit. You know, I I I, I want to be as safe as possible. But you know, when brothers say, hey, "Nah, I don't, I don't want to date women that have high body counts or had sex, who uh, were sexually active at an early age," it, it looks bad. I, I don't want to deal with it. It's it, it's too risky. No. And, you know, it kind of has me remembering um, a situation that happened last year at a relationship forum where um, a girl was, uh, she was talking about sex. The, the, the topic was somewhere about sex and about, she was just kind of going into this intrinsics of, you know, a girl, you know, when she was in high school, a girl has a right to explore her sexuality and test the waters and shit. And then, like, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm just kind of, like, hearing this shit. I'm like, nah, man. It's like, you, you, you go to school with immature motherfuckers, you, and you know they're immature. You know they run them out. You know they tell their friends. You know they tell everybody. You, you know they share all your secrets. And, like, you, and the thing is, it's like, y'all females be dating the most dumbest niggas in the, in the school. Y'all date the dumbest niggas, man. And then y'all want to come up and blame us for rejecting you? That's bull. You know, shit. You know, when I hear, when I see women dating thugs and dating losers, and they, it's not attractive. It's not. You know, she can probably show off her ass and be like, oh... I can do this, I can do that, but it's like, can you be a wife though? Can can you be in a calm environment to where you're not acting ratchet or you're not trying to ensue a situation or, or, or create a tension? A lot of these black women who are champion Sierra, they're nowhere even close when it comes, they don't even look as good as her, they don't even have like, I mean probably this situation's even worse. You know, shit. So, you know, when I when I when I compare it to real life girls, hell no, I don't want to be dealing with kids. Because it, it, it's usually because because like if you if you listen to my older video I did last summer about um this girl who dissed me for not being sexually active, she was like, you're not black enough. Because, you, you, you know, you're not having sex. And it's like, it's funny that you're telling me this when you're the uh, mid-twenties single mom. And you're doing some fuck shit of hiding your child from your baby daddy. And um, in the past, you let this nigga crash into you, you in, um, in your parents' space. So, like, who's the loser now? You know, who... You're the one taking an L because you're gonna have to keep dealing with this dumb idiot, and you're gonna keep dealing with losers. You're on POF looking for losers, and you're down in me. And the thing is, a lot of these females don't even respect dudes like Russell Wilson. They don't respect them. They they do the same bullshit. Oh, he's not black enough. If he was, if Russell Wilson was a regular dude looking like Carlton. Female black women wouldn't even be eyeing him. And that was another debate and another topic that I saw on Facebook. Where the female posted, you know, would would women um would would women appreciate being approached by dudes who look like Russell Wilson? And, and you know, you look at him, he's not wearing J's, he ain't all that you know, he ain't wearing the fanciest clothes, he just casual. He like he's going to Hawaii or something. Female think black women are, are, are going to look at him, nerd, leave him uh, uh, lame, g give him every excuse in the book. You know, <clears throat> you know, black women don't respect those dudes. They ain't choosing you. Shit, you know. 
and you know the, the Russell Wilson and Sierra relationship is gonna crumble. It, it's gonna it's gonna crumble. But the thing is, is that as much as people hate Future, I would like for him just to sit back and and just kind of don't do anything, don't crash the wedding, don't li- like leave text messages or have a Twitter beef. Just sit back and let this shit implode. Just, just, just let her fuck up on her own, and she, and she will fuck up. I, I just hope this dude can sit back and just be like, you know, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Man, there, there's so many problems in, um, in, 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 the, in how black women view. Um, on point black men and it's so selective we're, 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 we're always the um and, and it, Russell Wilson he reminds me so much of Carlton and he, he, he it's like it, it, I'm sorry for the stuttering but it, it, it strongly reminds me of the episode where Carlton um well, was reunited with his um it really with his crush but uh, it but played by um, the girl who played Lisa Turtle, um, the crazy chick. I forgot her name. Lark Voorhees. Yeah, when when she when she was a guest on the uh, Fresh Prince show, um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, you know she came in with a baby, um, and she, you know, lied to Carlton talking about he's the father and. Carlton knew the whole time, but what happened? He was he was so in love with her, and you know he just didn't care if she had a baby, you know, as long as you know she was with him, and you know, you know even though she was using him for a meal ticket and all that bullshit, you know that is basically how black women see us. We're always the captain save them, you know. You, you, we're, you're going to go out and mess with Ray Ray, Future, and all of them, and then you expect us to be on the back seat and just be like, you know, um, you know, we'll have, I'll have you on standby, but I will definitely be looking at you. I'm like, no, you're not going to do that, man. You're not, you're not going to do that shit, man. You, you're not. And the thing is, I really wish black women would stop with the old intrinsics. That's one thing that they really need to cut with the intrinsics of the sisterhood of failure is required of black women. No, I have every right to reject your stupid ass for being pregnant, for being fast, for rejecting quality men. I have every right to do that. So... You know, just like black women love high-fiving each other when they reject men who are broke, live with their mom, not stable, and they're, they're high-fiving each other like, oh yeah, we're so, we're so up there, we're so kick-ass, we're better than black men. But yeah, when you meet a black man on your level, or above your level, it, 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 it's like, you have to put them off on standby until... You, you get so fucked up in the game that nobody in the block wants you. And now you're just like, you know, I'm, oh, I have two kids and I'm ready to be wifed up. And Ray Ray is like, ah, nah. If I wife you up, I have to delete all the contacts on my phone and shit. You, you, you expect me to be faithful knowing that I mess with other women and I, I can't. That, that's really what it comes down to, man. But I would love to see how this future and um, Sierra and Russell Wilson love triangle ends. I, I would love to see how it ends.